Hello YouTube, Katrina here with AK Booze Review coming at you again today. I <laughs> I did a video of myself earlier and I was standing up and I, I'm not a huge fan of my face. And I, I could see my going on. So I decided to re-video this video because I was not happy with the last one. So I apologize. I'm, I'm finicky like that. So, uh, but this is good because I'm coming at you today with Big Sky Brewing. They came out with their variety pack of seltzers. And in my first video that I did, I actually tried the cucumber mint first. And that actually overpowered my taste buds. So I wasn't able to really taste any of the other ones. So Big Sky is a very big brewing company. Some of you may have them available wherever you live. Um, these are their seltzers. Um, they're 4.2% alcohol and they're beer based. So they're malted. Um, these are some of the ones that I drink on a consistent basis, especially the Huckleberry. This is one of my favorites. I buy these in the six packs on a regular t uh, basis. Um, and then the variety pack I buy every once in a while if I want to change it up. Um, so I can tell you that one of my least favorites is actually the lemon ginger, only because the ginger can be very pungent when you first start drinking it. I love ginger in food. I am a foodie. I absolutely love to eat, uh, which is why I got this that I don't really like. Um, but in a drink, I'm not a big fan of ginger. I have a friend of mine who loves ginger candy. It's her favorite thing in the whole wide world. So she would actually really like this one. Um, but for me personally, not one of the ones I drink regularly. But um, if you love ginger, you'll like it. So... Maybe I didn't taste the ginger in the last one because this can, or this particular one, doesn't have a lot of ginger in it. The one I drank last night was very, very ginger. I just smell lemon. Yeah, okay, this can doesn't have a lot of ginger in it. The one I had last night had a ton of ginger, so that's really what I tasted. So maybe during their manufacturing, this one missed the ginger. Um, so it's actually really good. Tastes just like lemon. But usually, like I said, it's very prevalent. Yeah, it's just not there with this one. So this one's actually really good today. Um, okay, Huckleberry. Now I've never had fresh huckleberries. Some of you that live in the States where it's actually like a, a warm, decent climate, not like Alaska where it's cold all the time. That's a lie. It was really nice last summer, but this winter really sucked. We had a lot of negative like 30, 20 something degrees and it just was awful. So this one you smell berries. Berry flavor is very subtle. These are not sweet which I like. I've had some seltzers that the sweetness overpowers the flavor. Hate those, they turn me off right away. I like my sparkling seltzers to actually be very light. I like them to taste like the La Croix water with just a hint of that flavor. If they're overly sweet, I get a killer hangover that lasts me like three days, totally not worth it. In my old age, Hangovers have gotten way worse when I was in my 20s. Cake. I could stay up until like 4 in the morning, partying all night in Hawaii, and then wake up at like 6 a.m. and go to work, and I'd be just fine. Now I have six beers and like down on the ground for two days. Yeah, very subtle berry flavor. I really like the huckleberry. Like I said, that's one of my favorites. The strawberry mint I hadn't had in a while until just today when I was doing my earlier video, which I despised and told my cameraman I had to redo it because I'm sorry, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't post that for the world to see. I'm sorry. Um, very subtle strawberry. No hint of mint whatsoever. You can barely taste the mint. So I'm a huge mojito fan. I love muddled mint in the bottom of my mojitos. It is like the best thing ever. I actually make my mojitos with tequila because I'm not a rum drinker. It makes me cuckoo crazy. Um, but the strawberry flavoring in this is not my favorite. Um, it's kind of like 
when somebody tries to reproduce the grape flavor and like can't quite get it and it ends up tasting like Dimetap instead, that's what happens with the strawberry flavors. So if you added some frozen strawberries to the bottom of the drink, then it would be really, really good. Um, but I'm not a huge fan of the fake flavor. So the strawberry is very subtle, but it's not, not the best strawberry flavor out there. As you drink it, the flavor diminishes, so that's good. It ends up just becoming very water tasting um, with just a very subtle hint of the flavoring going on. Mm. I forgot to smell. Well, I don't smell anything because I just drank cucumber. Well, whatever. You can taste the cucumber. It actually tastes really good. This one... Normally isn't one of the ones I, I actually really like, but today, for some reason, I, I like that cucumber mint. It's, it's actually really good today. It is a warmer day in Anchorage. It is a whopping 42 degrees, so we know summer's around the corner. I know that sounds sad. Um, many of you that are in warmer climates, you're like, 42 degrees, really? Yes, that's for us. We are excited. Okay, there's a cucumber. No mint. I don't even, mm. the mint's subtle, so if you took like a mint leaf and put it in the water, and then some fresh cucumbers, so like cucumber water that you could get at like some nail salons that you go to, that kind of stuff, that's really what it tastes like, and then you add the carbonation to it, it's spot on. Um, so today, normally this one's not one of the ones I really like, but today I just taste the lemon in it, so it's actually really good today. Huckleberry, again, always love that one, buy those six packs. Strawberry needs something like some frozen strawberries or something and then I really like the cucumber um, The cucumber is actually quite delicious So big sky what I would do if you guys can is kind of beef up your strawberry flavor a little bit Make it a little bit more like authentic strawberries and you would have something Phenomenal honestly as far as the other flavors go. I really like them normally like I said the ginger the ginger is really uh, Kind of overpowering for the rest of it, but today it's actually really good. So Hopefully for my, my watchers out there, uh, you guys can get a hold of the Big Sky Variety Pack. Um, excuse me. I don't know what the calorie content is on these, but I'll post it in the description. But I'm pretty sure they're pretty low. Um, yeah, I really like these. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, please. And subscribe to my channel. Enjoy.